<clears throat> Welcome to the Fairfield City Schools Board of Education meeting, uh, June 27th. Mrs. Lane, can you call the roll? Mr. Begley. Ms. Birding. Present. Mr. Clark. Present. Mrs. Gundrum. Here. Mrs. Shorter. Here. Now we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Our school district and community were devastated by the loss of one of our very own, Mrs. Gretel Howenstein. Mrs. Howenstein was a teacher at North Elementary, but she was very well known across the district as she taught in several of our buildings. In the last week, parents have shared how much their children loved her and how she stayed in touch with them for so many years. Gretel will be missed, but her legacy will live on in the lives of so many that she touched Please join me in a moment of silence in honor of Gretel Howenstein. Thank you. <clears throat> Moving to the communication portion of our meeting. Uh, this portion of the meeting, where you are invited to share your thoughts with the board in order for the board to fulfill its obligation to complete the planned agenda in an effective and efficient fashion. A maximum of 30 minutes of public participation may be permitted at each meeting. Please know that this time has been set aside for the board to listen to you. Your comments are valued and will be taken into careful consideration. The board will not engage in dialogue at this time. Presentations are limited to five minutes each. And we do have a couple of people who have signed up. Okay. So if you could give your full name and um, the address. Uh, Dina Casagrande and 2756 Tantibi Terrace, Fairfield Township. My name is Dina Casagrande again, and I am the mother of Rachel Casagrande. She has attended Fairfield City Schools since kindergarten and graduated this year. I'm here to set the record straight on injustices committed against Rachel. Rachel participated in a group chat from home that was started by a student council member to discuss ideas for a senior prank. Rachel offered fun ideas she believed the students would enjoy. Rachel was suspended on 5-5-2023 by Vice Principal Rebecca Sawyers for a verbal assault on a school employee, student, or another group, including threat to violence, whether in verbal, written, or electronic form. I received a phone call from Vice Principal Sawyers in the morning that Rachel was suspended for 10 days with a possible expulsion and was told what happened. Rachel said the words in two separate comments, let's do purge at school, let's do purge during school. I knew immediately that she was referring to a fun event she had just attended days before with other students outside of school where they played a large game of tag with Nerf toys. I explained this to the vice principal and she said that we could appeal the suspension. I asked why Rachel was being treated this way when she had never been in trouble at school in the 13 years at Fairfield and she said that there was pressure from the media and attorneys and they were taking her words very seriously. She recommended we appeal and see if we could come back to school or she could come back to school earlier in order to attend her last band concert. Her father and I appealed to Principal Ryan Bellamy and asked for the suspension to be removed. <coughs> we again discussed that her comment about purge was in a reference to a previous comment about the chat about Nerf War. He said he would look into the reference but found the comments were too far apart in the chat of over 100 people. We also discussed a Fairfield City School away football game on September 30th, 2022 at Hamilton City Schools. The spirit theme was Purge Night, a violent movie and Netflix TV series about murder and crime. Students were encouraged to wear torn, bloody clothing and bring masks like the ones in the movie and series. We asked how this violent theme could be celebrated, but Rachel could not use the word to describe a game of tag. 
the principal said he was not happy about the football game theme, but would not comment further or remove her punishment. He also stated that there was pressure from the media and attorneys, and she would have to appear at the expulsion hearing where we could plea for a lighter sentence or be cleared altogether. We attended the expulsion hearing on May 11th, held by Matt Crapo, Director of Student Services, and Vice Principal Rebecca Sawyers. The charges were read and definition of the word purge was discussed. Mr. Crapo stated on the record that he did not know what the word meant. He also stated that in social media, there is no context of a word. And for that reason, they were punishing her for using a word that had a violent definition, even though there were several other nonviolent definitions. They read her student record, which included average grades and no prior offenses. Rachel gave a statement where she apologized for any confusion because her comments were not meant to cause any harm. We were asked if we had anything to add, and I asked why the school could have a football game that celebrated the violence of purge, but my daughter was being punished for using the word in a group chat. Based on this, I asked them to reconsider her punishment, and we were told in a letter that she was uh, given an expulsion with an abeyance, and her 10-day suspension was to be completed. Rachel Casagrande missed her senior prom, her last band concert, and she had played in the band since the sixth grade and was to be celebrated in her last concert in front of family and friends. She missed her last two weeks of school to say goodbye to teachers and other students, and she will never get these memories back. Many students involved in the chat had no previous record, yet they were treated like criminals. Parents were not given the chance to get involved and work with the school before the suspensions were given because of the rush to squash any negative press. Suspensions were not given equally to those in the chat, and several athletes were overlooked when suspensions were handed out. This is the last memory these students will take with them. Fairfield City Schools failed them when they had a chance to show grace and mercy for a mistake. Some comments from the students were very violent and should have been treated with care and concern, but my daughter was not one of them. We have the right to take this information to the media and set the record straight. We have the right to take this to court to set the record straight. Our attorney states that the school illegally punished our daughter for using a word that was celebrated in its violent definition for fun at a school approved event. What we want is for the school to give Rachel a public apology for their illegal acts against her. We also want the expulsion and suspension to be removed from her public school record. Fairfield City Schools would be wise to review their processes and actions during this event to learn how to do things better the next time they are faced with this situation. Thank you. Stephen? <coughs> no, I'm just here for, I didn't know there was any reinforced or anything, so I just wanted to be in there for any questions. Uh, okay. You have a statement that, that's not here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for speaking. <coughs> a district official will reach out to you um, uh, to continue discussions. <coughs> 